All right, we are joined uh, by Saina Nehwal, who is on her comeback trail. Uh, remember, she uh, got knocked out of the Rio Olympics after playing two matches and then had to undergo surgery. Saina, thank you so much for talking to NDTV. Appreciate you taking time out for us. Uh, first up, I want to start by asking you how you're feeling fitness-wise and how far are you uh, from full fitness? Uh, from being fully fit, it will take another few weeks. It's um, I just came back from Hong Kong and Macau and... Um, and I feel I was quite okay there uh, after the surgery, which I had um, coming back in three months, uh, playing two quarterfinals, beating good top players. Uh, it was just that feeling I wanted because the last tournament I played was in June. So um, I wanted to see how my level is at this stage. I knew somewhere the fitness was not up to the mark, but um, I still wanted to try and give my best and uh, fight. And that's what um, you know I love to do. I, keep, I want to fight more. And I, I was happy to see myself uh, reaching the quarterfinals. Um, stage in the Hong Kong Open. In fact, I was um, wanting to aim for the Super Series Finals in December, but I just missed it by a few points. Um, uh, f in, I'm actually in a st standing at the ninth position, but it was just uh, just missed by a few a few points. Uh, hopefully, uh, by January mid and or the January ending, I should be at a very very good uh, um, uh, fitness. Yeah. Okay, Saina, let's go back to Rio now. You had to return from the Olympics much earlier than you had intended to uh, because of that injury. And then there's a lot of flack you got. People said you shouldn't have gone to the Olympics carrying an injury. Just clarify for us what happened with that injury. And uh, did it feel hurtful when people said you went to the Olympics carrying an injury with you? Uh, in fact, before going to the Olympics, I didn't even know what injury um, I had exactly. I um, I, I got uh, information from one of the doctors saying that it was a fat pad inflammation. So, uh, you know, and I thought it, it will be okay in three, four days. But uh, in the meanwhile, we had to go to Rio. So there was no time to take an MRI. And um, and even, in fact, I was feeling good when I uh, boarded the plane, when I, I went there. It was only when I played my first match and um, then, uh, you know, again practiced the next day. I could see the pain going worse, worse. It was too bad for me to continue. Um, and then I took a decision that, you know, of course, uh, it's not going to happen this way. In fact, I lost the next match. Uh, it was not destined, maybe you can say that. And um, I came back immediately. Um, I had actually no feelings of going um, so far, 36 hours of journey in the pain and play the uh, tournament there. I, in fact, if I would have known before the tournament itself, I wouldn't have gone there. Uh, when I came back to India, I went to Mr. Dinshaw Padiwala um, and he said it's a bone spur and you have to um, um, do a surgery for that and what worse can you expect <laughs> and that you have to go to a surgery and um, yeah that was that was the only moment I can remember from that whole instance and there's nothing else um, I didn't watch any kind of news or any kind of things coming out in the media it was just that you know for me that moment was important to come out of that thing which was happening in my knee and what thing was irritating me and I did I did my job and I'm back again and that, that that's what is important nothing else yeah um, it was um, a bit of a contrasting scenario really you were in an operation theater in Mumbai and uh, Sindhu was in Rio and she was fighting for an Olympic gold medal very contrasting scenario uh, after that surgery and during that time, did you even manage to keep track of the badminton? Uh, did you watch Sindhu's final or was the whole scenario just, you know, too painful for you and you just wanted to stay away from the sport? Um, I was in fact, um, uh, immediately when I came back from, uh, the, uh, from Rio, I went to Mumbai. So I was there talking to the doctor. Uh, I got the news. Uh, my father told me that she's playing the final. So it's a good thing, of course. Um, it's a huge platform, uh, uh, winning a medal is a great thing and um, I congratulate her for that but um, the, uh, the, f the thing was for me, uh, I was not <laughs> coming out of that thinking of a surgery, you know, I was not even able to believe that, that I have to go through a surgery. The only thinking I was going through was that I have to go through a surgery which was the most difficult time of my uh, career I think, <laughs> yeah. Okay, three months after your surgery, uh, you returned to the badminton court. You trained and then you came back to competition to play the China Open Super Series where you got knocked out in the first round. But you did show intent. Uh, looking back, do you think uh, your comeback was a bit hurried and you should have waited uh, till you were 100% fit? No, no, there is never, see, whatever decisions I take in my career, I think I have not, um, never regretted taking that. Taking that. 
in fact it was my decision to play the tournaments uh, in fact vimal sir told me that don't hurry up um, play after uh, getting back to full training fully fit but i i just told sir i want to play i want to see where i stand it was not about winning or losing it was giving my best and uh, seeing where i was i i uh, knew somewhere the training was not enough on the court and the stamina issues were there uh, but i'm happy that i played i'm happy that um, i reached the quarter final stages i beat few top players that's what i wanted i didn't want to take a big break till march because the next big tournament only is in march so it would have been a longer break for me um, i knew that there was a lot of time after the uh, macau open to um, uh, you know to train and to get back into the best shape but i just wanted to play the tournament it's i, I have won the hong kong open before uh, you know i won the china open before so it was not about i, I don't think about winning every time it also has to be about giving my best and uh, fighting with the players and that's what i did i, I enjoyed that and i'm sure with the kind of um, confidence i got after playing this tournament i can't even tell because i'm so happy to be there i'm so happy i just need few more weeks to be uh, at my best shape yeah okay saina since you've come back uh, you've made it to two quarter finals and in that quarter final in macau uh, you got knocked out by a chinese player who's ranked more than 200 places um, below you before that of course you were playing these three setters and then there was this loss uh, how do you take a loss like that there is no disappointment in matches you know you have to play matches whether it is world number whatever it is you know you are a player there you are not world number 1 or whatever you know you are there playing against an opponent who is from china and um, i think you can as i said chinese all of them are equal level of uh, the top players it's just that the top four get selected from the national team but all the chinese players are in such a good uh, condition that they can beat any top player in their given day so you can't underestimate them in any way it was i never thought of um, you know any player is less than me when i play against them so i just don't want to think about whom i lost to uh, but people just forget that i beat world number 11 just a week before world number 12 a week before what's the road ahead like um, for you saina in the next 12 months um, what are your goals going into 2017 um i would just like to give my best and i hope 2017 um, um i am in my best shape that's what is more important and rest the results will follow so i'm not thinking much about the goals but about being fit and that's what is important all right so anna neval thank you so much uh, for speaking to ndtv you're on your comeback trail and all the very best for that thank you so much for talking to us thank you so much thank you yeah.